So he's probably in all likelihood going to be heading southwards. So I don't think it's going to be tonight, but maybe tomorrow if it's hot, the two of them might come together at Twin Dams again, which will be interesting to see how that plays out. But both the boys are completely unscathed. Mr. P, you're asking if Tumba is totally independent. Mr. B, I'm not sure. I, uh, from what we've seen, we've, we haven't seen him with Tundi for quite some time now, so I have no idea. I don't know if Tundi's decided to leave him. Um, Tundi's been very elusive of late. It's been difficult. What are you stalking? There's something moving down below here. Here it comes. What is this? Is it a hyena? I think there's a hyena down below here that he's busy watching. There's something moving. I can't see what it is. Senzo, can you see? It looks like I can hear leaf litter moving, but I, I know the guy saw a hyena just now, and he was moving towards it, I think, hoping that there was a diker or something coming up the drainage, but it looks as though it's something else, because he just sort of stopped all of a sudden and backpedaled. I don't know. Maybe it's something else. I'd be surprised if he would approach a hyena. Look, he's snarling. It must be a hyena. He's growling and hissing. Don't go towards it. Tumbo, what are you doing? So he's gone over the front of my bonnet here, and I really can't move anywhere further than where I am now. You can just see the tip of his head on top. There's a hyena just chased him. So the hyena is just here on our left now. I'm not sure which hyena it is just yet, but the hyena probably thinks that Tumba's got a kill here, given that this leopard has probably been moving around in this general vicinity for quite some time. There's a little face peering over the bonnet. Or maybe Tumba does have a kill and this hyena's already stolen it and eaten it and now looking for more. But I, like I said, don't know who it is yet. When it comes past on the left here, we might be able to get a better idea as to who this is. Although it's using the cover of the car quite a lot at the moment. So Lou says it looks like our bin raider, which would be Ribbon or um, Gwen, but I think I'm not 100% sure now. He's, she's going to walk straight into Tumba. There goes Tumba running off. At least Tumba's going into a more open clearing. So, hold on, this hyena is harassing Tumba, and I don't know if we're going to be able to keep up with Tumba at all. I'm trying to get out of here, but it's very difficult terrain to move fast, that's for sure. Can you hit this, Senza? You good, Senza? Just hope they don't go down into this drainage, because if they go into the drainage, for me, it's going to be very difficult to follow them. I'm not going to be able to go in there, but... Let's just check earpiece. Yeah, earpiece is okay. Because otherwise, I'm going to get to this in big trouble if I then lose an earpiece. There goes the hyena again. I don't know where Tumba ran off to. He ran off this way. So I'm just going to try sneak through this little gap. Whether I'm going to be able to get this right, I'm not quite sure. Come on, Wendy. Small Wendy, small Wendy. There we go. Prism Echo, you say perhaps there's a kill in one of the trees? Maybe. The way this hyena is striding around, it could be possible. Um, but don't forget that Tumba's been spending a lot of time here. I've been seeing his tracks every day for the last four days, and maybe this hyena just thinks because it's picking up so much scent of leopard that maybe it does have a kill. But it's striding off now northwards and into the bush, and we'll try and see if we can find Tumba again. I have a funny feeling Tumba's really run, and he's no sign of him. I can't see. Can you see him? Okay, so at least Senzo can see him. That's great news. But I'm surprised at how brave little Tumba was with that whole process and how he kind of went towards the hyena and, and growled and hissed and stood his ground, which is really amazing to watch. I'm pretty impressed with the young lad. He's shown that he's not really scared of anybody. He doesn't take anyone's nonsense. He's gone after... He's going to come this side. Okay, so we're just going to park here in front so we can see him coming out. So he seems as though he doesn't take anybody's nonsense. He seems to be a right to go after him. He walked up to Hosanna, even though he played submissive, he still walked straight towards Hosanna and wasn't in any way fussed by him. But that's a beautiful view there. Now sit on top here for us. There we go. How's that? 
Thank you, buddy. <laughs> so he's sitting perfectly on top exactly the way we wanted him to. So I'm just going to change the lighting so we have a bit more of a floodlight and that makes it a lot easier and I don't have to have such a bright light on him and we can see him nice and clearly. But how beautiful is that? You can't ask for much more when you want to see a leopard than an open little mound and in this thicket he has chosen the best spot for us to watch him. Thank you very much. Now the hyena seems to have moved off completely but our two boys are very pretty, both of them. Proud cat mama, it depends on the mom. Um, sometimes you'll find it's early on, around sort of 14 months. Other times they'll keep them a little bit longer, just towards two years and up, um, a little bit over two years. Uh, generally though, it's between 14 months and two years that we see cats going off on their own and becoming independent. It would be quite interesting if Tandy's left him now because this is very early. He's only about a year old. A typical Tumba always looking in the sky and looking for things um, so it would be interesting if she has left him I suppose he's actually a little bit more than a year old now he's about 13 14 he's now about 15 months almost so he's um, he's a He's getting to that age, I suppose, and it is time to leave him. So I wonder if Tandy is now on her own mission, and that's why we haven't seen too much of her. Maybe she's tracking around, scent marking as she preps now to start mating heavily and to start maybe denning once again. So it'll be interesting to see what the movement is over the next little bit. But certainly this guy is spending more and more and more and more and more time on his own. The best part about it is that she's left him here in the middle of Juma. So he's right in the center of Juma at the moment. Tingana doesn't seem too stressed by his appearance and his tracks that are around. We saw Tingana and, and, and where we're sitting right now is exactly uh, maybe 10 meters north of where Tingana and Kuchava were mating the last few days or a few days ago should I say and so they picked up his scent and he, you could see Tingana wasn't too phased by it. He carried on. wasn't too sort of worried and so that means that Tumba who seems to not travel big distances at all we seem to find him sitting in the same places that potentially we're going to have the most epic time with this little boy over the next couple months because I'm hoping that he's not going to explore too much and that he's going to be just like Hosanna and that he's going to spend a lot of time around the central parts of Juma because if we can have these two boys on a regular basis we are going to be absolutely spoiled. Both of them are probably two of the prettiest leopards that we've got in this northern Sabi sand sector and, and both of them are characters in their own right. Hosanna is fast developing into this incredible leopard that is able to hunt and is establishing himself and Tumba, well Tumba is still a little bit younger so he's a lot more playful and and you can see it when he watches the squirrels in the trees or when he goes towards hyenas or when he looks as the birds fly over and seems to have these big wandering curious eyes and so they've both got these kind of different demeanors but yet they provide us with such incredible sightings that we are seriously spoiled to have these two here and, and the fact that Tumba has come to Juma has really been a godsend for us in a way because with you know the disappearance of Karula at one stage what's he seen now maybe this hyena is back again because with the disappearance of Karul at one stage, you know, our leopard sightings became tough. It was not easy for us. There was not really that many leopards around, and so we struggled when it came to leopards. And now, at least with this one and, and, and Hosanna, we've had a lot more kind of luck and a lot more time spent with our leopards. All right, well, we can't see anything down there. It's not going to even be possible to negotiate that, so I'm going to try go around again. Hopefully, he'll head back towards where we are now and that we'll be able to get him back on this little mound because that's the ideal place. I've also got to watch that I don't spike my own leg off on this knob thorn. And hit Wendy. Sorry Wendy. Right, here we go. I can't believe the temperature difference though between yesterday and today. It is quite phenomenal how much warmer it is. Oh, there he is. He's right out in the open now, which is good news. So hopefully we're going to see him kind of tracking around this area. I just want to go around so I can see him coming through this clearing. Philip, you're asking, is a lone hyena 
a representative of more hyenas near, being nearby, or how common is it to have just one lone hyena? Well, it's very common to have lone hyenas. Philip, so how it works is even though hyenas are clan animals, they spend a lot of their time, oh, look at him posing. They spend a lot of their time on their own. So what they do is they, they move around and separate at night and everyone goes in a different direction. And that means that they can cover a lot more of the clan's territory and domain in order to search for food for everybody. And so that's why they spend a lot of time in separate kind of units. Let's go forward for you, Senzo. Um, and so it's very, very common to see them on their own like this. It's really not that uncommon to see a hyena by himself and to watch them move around on their own. I just want to scan around in case there's maybe something he's stalking. I don't see anything at this stage. Poor Tumba, though. He's been harassed by hyenas this week. He made his first impala kill a few days ago, and hyenas unfortunately stole it. So... I feel sorry for him in a way because unfortunately that was his first big kill that we know of and they seem to be still harassing him and this is what happens when they stay in the same place for some time hyenas almost get expectant that there is food and that's why they then come and harass and check around and and walk around this area to try and find it it also means that if he does make a kill hyenas are generally quite close by and then they're going to try and come at him and try and actually steal it away so he needs to move a little bit more than what he is at the moment. He seems to be moving within, I would say, not even a 500 meter squared grid um, or, or block. Um, so he needs a lot more kind of movement. And it's no wonder we didn't spot him up here. If you have a look at this vegetation behind him, so there's a very dense, thick wall of vegetation, all of this. Just on the other side of that, if I peer through these branches in some places, I can just see the sand of the Mulawati. So even if he was lying 50 meters or not even 20 meters from the Mulawati drainage, you will never see him if he's lying up here. And just that's the thing is that so this morning we saw his tracks and I just had to follow them a little bit further and we would have found him as well. So it's OK. Made it better for this afternoon. Make up for this morning. Two leopards. We can even it out and make it one one. And at least it continues our run on Juma for another day with cats. So we now broken the unlucky 13. Tomorrow will be day 14 that we will try and find cats. And with Tumba being where he is right now, I'm pretty certain he's going to be somewhere in this general vicinity. I highly doubt he's going to move too far from where he is now. I don't think, unless Tundi comes here and, and drags him to a kill, which I doubt, given that she hasn't done that in the last week, then I think we're in for Tumba being exactly where he is now.